Check with the Bible on these here things. Oh. Yeah. I think that, I mean, if, if God had, had meant us to be together, he'd have put us together. Well, look what he'd done. He put you over in Africa, he put the rest of us in all the white countries. See, it's funny, we had to imitate a white person imitating a black person in order to get on the Amos and Andy show. They taught us how to be black, how to mispronounce words and whatnot. Hey, who the hell needs it, you know what I'm Today, some Negroes think that they're not making progress or they don't have anything unless they're living in a white neighborhood, unless they have the white man's neighborhood, uh, a, a seat in the white man's school, or a, a position on the white man's job, and they even have taken it so far they don't think they're successful unless, and in life unless they have a white wo woman as a wife. For instance, the average so-called Negro, he doesn't think that he can uh, go into business and provide jobs for himself. And because of this, he thinks that he can only get a job from the white man, or he can only get clothes from the white man, or he can only get food from the white man. And we who follow the honor of Elijah Muhammad are taught that uh, the same thing that the white man has done for himself and his kind, uh, if our people could uh, be uh, wrecked, if, they could, if we could be cured of our slave mentality that was uh, indoctrinated into us during slavery, we would realize that just as the white man can do these things for himself and his kind, we can get together in unity and harmony and do the same thing for ourselves and our kind. That's your mother? Yeah. You're what? What? Yeah. Your mother is colored. Of course, I'm colored too. You are? Yeah! <laughs> oh boy! where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today.
I don't understand you people. I mean, all these picky little points you keep bringing up, they don't mean nothing. You saw this kid just like I did. You're not going to tell me you believe that phony story about losing the knife and that business about being at the movies. Look, you know how these people lie? It's born in them. I mean, what the heck? I don't have to tell you. They don't know what the truth is. And let me tell you, they don't need any real big reason to kill someone either. No, sir. They get drunk. All oh, their real big drinkers, all of them. You know that. And bang, someone's lying in the gutter. Well, nobody's blaming them for it. That's the way they are, by nature. You know what I mean? Violent. Where are you going? Human life don't mean as much to them as it does to us. Look, they're lushing it up and fighting all the time. And if somebody gets killed, so something gets killed, they don't care. Oh, sure, there's some good things about them, too. Look, I'm the first one to say that. I've known a couple who are okay, but that's the exception, you know what I mean? Most of them, it's like they have no feelings. They can do anything. What's going on here? I'm, I'm trying to tell you. You're making a big mistake, you people. This kid is a liar. I know it. I know all about them. Listen to me. They're no good. There's not a one of them who's any good. I mean, what, what's happening in here? I'm speaking my piece and you... Listen to me. Uh, we're, we're... This kid on trial here, he's, he's type. Well, well, don't you know about them? There's a... There's a danger here. These people are dangerous. They're... Wild. Listen to me. Listen to me. I have. Now sit down and don't open your mouth again.